Okay, after watching this video, I can guarantee you, you are not gonna care about Mohammed, maybe Ali, Brian, Jake, whatever his name is. You won't care about him. You are going through a phase in life right now. Maybe you're going through a breakup. I don't know what's going on in your life, but you need this video. You can't get over someone. It has been four months, six months, two years, four days, doesn't matter. This will literally help you get over someone, especially if you're just obsessing over them. You have no idea why. I'm going to explain to you why. Now, all of this is based on science and the mind. So this is definitely something that's going to work. And I've been using, personally, I've been using this for so many freaking years so i can tell you that this actually works so without further ado let's just get right into the video so that less yapping more moving on from shit that does not serve us anymore all right all right okay let's go before we get into the practical part of this video let's talk about first why you're obsessed with this person so most of the time most of the time for example your life is a mess right now and the only thing that was good about your life was that person because they gave you all of those feelings. You guys went out together. You had someone to talk to throughout the day. But your life is a big mess. If you take that person out of the equation, like from your life equation, you literally have nothing going on in your life. So that is why when that person left you or that person doesn't want to be in your life anymore, it freaking hurts you because your life is not interesting. You are fully dependent on someone else to make you happy. Imagine this, okay? This is all the garbage in your life. This is you. You're standing on top of this garbage right now. This is that guy. So when you're with him, you feel good about it. This is your ex. This is you. Now, this is all the hidden garbage that you have, the hidden baggage. Now, this is him, right? So when you're with him, you completely forget about all of this. So when he leaves, you have nothing to focus on and you have to actually face reality like this instead of standing on top of the garbage. And that is your problem. And that is where the problem lies. So instead of actually fixing your problem, now most of y'all have fear of abandonment. You guys do not know how to be alone. You do not love being alone. You do not know what to do with yourselves when you're alone. You, all, Some of y'all do not know how to be single. And I used to have this problem as well. Like I just can't go a month without talking to someone. I just always need a new connection and yada, yada, yada. But then I went to a therapist and I fixed all of those things. So I'm gonna help you out over here. You gotta fix your life first. If you're constantly jumping from one relationship to another, it basically means you do not know how to be alone. I want you to practice being alone at least for like two, three months. Just be by yourself, enjoy your own company, give yourself every single thing that you would want your partner to give. Now always ask yourself, when you're hung over someone, when you can't get over someone, what did they actually give you? Was it quality time? Now there are five love languages, right? There is quality time, gifts, words of affirmation, support, and all of that stuff. So what exactly did this person give you? Ask yourself. So if he gave you quality time, that means you guys went out together, you guys had fun, arcade, movies, restaurants, start giving yourself that. So when this is you and this is him, right? When he went out of your life, there's like a little hole in your heart right now. So instead of trying to get him back to fix you, you gotta work on yourself and fix yourself fix the void so that next time when someone leaves your life you don't really care now most of the time a lot of people suffer after a breakup mostly because they have this void within themselves that they expect others to fix most of the time it's loneliness fear of being alone fear of abandonment maybe you just want to increase your self-esteem your self-confidence i don't know what the problem is but you gotta fix the void. And when you start doing that, you will never be afraid of losing anyone because whatever that person gave you, you can give it to yourself. So that includes gifts, quality time, honesty, words of affirmations. When you are confident in yourself, you literally won't care about any other person. I recently went through a breakup and I really loved the person. But then again, I was like, hold on, what did this person give me that I can't give myself? And then I figured it out and I started giving myself all of those things and I started missing him less because I've started giving myself the things that he gave me. Completely abandoned myself in the relationship that when he left, I was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life? And then I started giving myself all of those things and I'm like, okay, hold on, I'm fine. I'm not dying, I'm okay, I'm okay. And that's the thing. So start giving yourself all of those things instead of expecting someone else because most of the time, most of the time, unfortunately, it is not love. It's codependency. You are dependent on that person to make you feel good. So when they leave, you'll be forever waiting for them to come back because you want them to give you that feeling. And that is just, it's not going to work. 
It's not going to work because you're going to be in this whole boomerang your entire life expecting someone else to make you happy, expecting someone else to make you feel good and make you do all of those things. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about how to get over someone using science. Now, dopamine is a huge thing in our brains. And every single time we watch someone's stories, we watch who he followed, a new girl looking at his stories, trying to text him. We are just convincing our brains to like this whole process even more. So no matter how much you hate stalking him, you are literally training your brain to like it and and then it turns into a habit and an obsession. So in order for you to get over him, you have to break this dopamine loop that you have. So if you're watching his stories five times a day, you've blocked him, but you still keep checking his stories, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop talking about him with your friends because you are basically training your mind to be attached to this person. And the only way you can detach and get over someone is by training the mind that you don't care anymore. And this actually works. So if you're going through a breakup right now and if you're stalking him, stop stalking him. Stop watching your old videos and photographs and text messages. Delete them. Delete them so that you never come across those videos, those chats, whatever it is. Delete all of them so that you do not have any other option but to move on so that you can stop this dopamine loop, the dopamine boomerang that you're going through. Next thing is stop talking to your friends about him. Literally act like he doesn't exist, even in your head. If you catch yourself trying to text him, or trying to talk to your friends about him. Oh my goodness, he did this, he did that. No, stop. Even if your best friend asks you, what's going on? Did he text you? Did he do this? Did he do that? I don't know what's going on. That's it. Point blank, period. You do not talk about him because in order for you, do you see this? Look at this bottle right over here, right? Do you see how much liquid is inside this bottle? So the more you waste your energy and your thoughts and your dopamine on this person, your happy hormone, you get empty inside and you need him to come into your life and give you and fill your bottle, which life is not going to work that way. So instead of giving more to him, start filling your life up to this point where his presence doesn't really matter to you. I hope I explained this theory correctly, the way my psychologist explained it to me, because this really changed my mindset. And the last one is literally be busy. When you're busy, when your life is interesting, listen, when your life is interesting enough, you do not miss someone, okay? Because you do not have the time to miss someone. So if you're at home 24-7, you're not doing shit, literally you do nothing for you. You abandon yourself, but then you expect everyone else to love you. That's bullshit. That's crap. Going back to what I was saying. You got to be busy in your life. You got to make your life interesting. You got to go to Pilates, go to a dance class. I don't know. Do something new. Go out with your friends. Have fun at a club. Go to a bookstore. Do something new. Be busy. Be so busy that you do not have the time to think about someone. So in 27 days, when your mind gets used to his absence, you won't care anymore. And honestly, this personally works for me in a week. It takes me about three to four days to get over someone because I just really need to give myself time to process the entire breakup, why we broke up, what was the reason. Every single time you want to text him, remember all the bad things that he did. Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes our brains do. Unfortunately, our brains always remember the good things for some reason. Even if the person abused us, even if the person hurt us, even if the person disrespected us, we will always love the warmth that they gave us. So I want you to get a paper and a pen, write down all the bad things he did to you. And every single time you want to text him or you want to call him, I want you to read that list. Do not write the pluses. Do not write the good things about him. Write all the bad things about him. Read it all over again. I'm like, do I freaking deserve this? Is this the kind of man I would want for my daughter? If the answer is no, that's your answer. You do not want this person. Point blank period. Oh, I'm sorry. I just realized that I wasn't looking at the camera this entire time. My apologies. But anyways, y'all got the point. I will never understand people who spend years just moving on. Like they can't move on. And the only reason they can't move on is because they do not want to move on. I have been in love so many times. All right. I've been obsessed with people. I have gone through this. I have had my biggest heartbreak. But you know what? I get over them because I know how to freaking do it. I do not obsess over them after they've shown me that they do not deserve me. Over here, self-respect and self-love plays a huge role. So keep that in mind. It's up to you if you want to move on or not. We can control our minds, our actions, and the way we behave. So think about it. Think about your actions. And that's it. I hope y'all move on. Okay, bye.